Back in 1820, a Danish physicist by the name of Hans Christian Oersted figured out something that changed the world forever in terms of magnetism. He found out that if you take a coil of wire and you wrap the coil of wire around many, many times a conductor like this, and then you put electricity through the coil of wire, the flow of electrons actually induces a magnetic field. Well, it's easy for you to make an electromagnet at home simply using wire, a conductor like a nail, and a big battery. All right, just wrap the wire around the nail. And now in order to connect it to the battery, I'm gonna use these little clips and clip them on right here and right here. All right, so take a look at this. Let's just prove that it's not a magnet now, not magnetic. But when we hook it up to this lantern battery, this is six volts of electricity. Here, watch. And it works. So it's easy to make an electromagnet that you can control by simply controlling the flow of electricity. Well, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. This is an industrial strength electromagnet. The hook goes over the 16 pound bowling ball. And now let's hook it on. Negative to the negative side, the positive to the positive side. Watch this. <sighs> Should work, let's see if it works. That's an industrial strength electromagnet. And when you're ready to drop it, just cut the power. I scared myself.